Welcome to this week's video. This week's video is about a system called Tardo and Tardo is a smart heating boiler system and the reason I'm talking about this today instead of my normal base videos which is electric vehicles which by the way if you are interested in learning about electric vehicles subscribe to the channel there is videos all about EVs. Now the reason I'm talking today about Tardo uh, and their electric heating system is I personally drive an electric car because it's more environmentally friendly. But you might be one of the people that drives it for saving money. And if you're either of those two people, you'll be fascinated by today's video. Now, the reason you're gonna find this interesting if you're an environmentalist or you wanna just save money is because this thing does both things at exactly the same time. And what I mean by that is, it's going to reduce the amount of gas you use at your house and therefore reduce the amount of money you spend on your heating bill. And in turn, burning less gas produces less CO2. So whichever box you're in, you're gonna enjoy this product. And on this product, there is a 12 month guarantee that if it doesn't save you any money, you can have a full refund after 12 months. What this means for me, having two TLV valves, so they, these are the radiator sensing valves that sit on your radiator, is I have a room in my house that I don't use for basically most of the week in the morning, six days a week, I never go in my lounge. I go in the evening, but in the morning I don't. My radiator valves are just plain radiator valves that you set to a temperature and they heat the room up every single morning. Now, that is a big room. It's in fact the biggest room in my entire house that's being heated for no reason. And this thing will allow me to turn that room off only in the morning, which means in the evening it'll still be warm, but in the morning, instead of wasting my energy heating my room up, I'm gonna save the money that I'm gonna normally heat that room up and the heat will go elsewhere, therefore reducing the amount of money I spend on gas. Now it's got some other features as well as the radiator valve, which means it can also control the actual boiler and also know when you're in the house, which we're gonna go into in a minute. But let's sort of open the pack and see what's inside. Well, I didn't open that great, did I? So we have the main bit here, which is the thermostat. So this is the bit that controls your boiler. So like a, a room stat, which controls the whole boiler, decides if the boiler's on or off. So that is that. Then we have some other little bit. So a welcome guide, instruction books, installation guide. Yeah, I don't need them at the moment. Then we have, this is the bit that makes it smart. So this just plugs into your standard router at home. And that connects to your router to make it internet enabled, which enables a lot of the smart features that we want in a minute. So then we obviously have a USB and ethernet cable for connecting at home. Plug, various plug socket adapters and USB adapters that we don't need at the moment. Piece of cardboard. And then we have the TRV valves. So the thermostatic radiator valves that we need and these basically just uh, these basically just clip on top of your radiator and screw on. Now in the box we do have some adapters, so depending on what TRV valve you've got, you shouldn't have to call a plumber. You should just be able to screw this valve off your old one and then screw this new one on, and you should have a, a range of adapters that will allow for that to be possible. And we need to go to a computer, uh, to tadu.com forward slash login, to follow the installation guide. So before you add the thermostat, you first need to add the bridge, which is the little block thing that you need to plug into your router, and also power. So to add that, you just go in, find the serial number on the back, and enter it into the Tadu website, either on your computer or on your phone. So now we just need to plug this into the router and power it up. And luckily for me, there is still a spare slot on my router and there's also a USB socket there as well. So now we just need to wait for the Tadu app to talk to the router and to the internet and wait on the app and eventually after a couple of seconds we should get a result. The more observant of you will notice that I'm now wearing a different top and that is because it was not working to connect to the internet. Anyway, after a load of router resetting and hub resetting, I finally got it working. So I can now press continue on the app. And now it's asking for the actual smart thermostat serial number. So I'll just type that in, hit register. And now we need to pull the sticker tab out the back, which activates the batteries that are already in this device. So that is out, press continue again. 
But now we need to hold down this power button for three seconds. And then we've got the connection symbol. So that's now working. So we just need to wait for that to communicate with the hub in there. Okay, so that's now all set up. So we just need to install this in replace of this current thermostat, which is a wired thermostat. Just so everyone knows, this has got batteries in, but it needs a connection to the boiler, which mine has got two little wire pairs. So we're gonna connect that up now. So after turning the power off, making sure it's safe and wiring all the wires up and labeling them correctly, you turn everything back on and it's now working. It's uh, exactly as it should be. Uh, temperature's working and it's all connected to the web. So that, that is the thermostat set up to the boiler and that will control the boiler using the geofencing and the smart stuff. The next thing we're gonna set up is the radiator valves. So now we're over at the radiator valves. These, these are the TRV valves. So this, these are plain TRV valves. There's nothing smart about them. They've just got a bit of mercury in it. And then when it's hot or cold, it drops the pin inside. So to take these off, we just screw the bevel at the side. And then that will come off. So as you can see, it's just a screw lid that comes off. The ones you get with the Tadu system, there's a little head that snaps off. Now, depending on what radiator valve and what connection you've got here, you might have to change the head so it screws onto your radiator. I've already pre-tested this and it just goes straight on. So what we need to do is just put it on there and screw it up. So once that's all screwed up, what we need to do is go over to the Tadu app and add this new smart thermostat with the barcode yet again. And then it tells you to pull this tab out again to initialize the batteries inside it. And then we click next and it's just beeping. And then we need to put a pen for three seconds in to put it into pairing mode, but I've got big nails at the moment, so I can just hold that down for one, two, three, and it vibrates to let you know it's pairing. And then we just need to wait for that pairing system to carry on. So we'll just give it a couple of minutes and it's just vibrate again. So I think it's about to finish. So we've got the degrees in the room. The app's just saying it's going through and it says it's ready, connected. The device is ready for mounting. So exactly the same here. Screw this head off. Take this off so we can get this in. Place it to the front so it says top at the front. And then we just need to add it to the app. Pull the tog out again. Put it into pairing mode. One, two, three. So you know when it's in pairing mode because these three lights will light up like that to say it's gone into pairing. So the reason I've got two, I've got two radiators in this room, we're going to be able to link them both. So they both know to turn off this room at the same time and therefore reducing my gas bill in this room and also reducing the amount of money I spend and therefore reducing the amount of carbon I produce. Now we just need to set up the smart scheduling in the app. Now to do that, you just go into the app pick the firm stat that you want or the room uh, stats that you want, go into that and then change them. Now you can select a schedule for Monday, Friday with two separate weekends or Monday to Saturday with a separate Sunday. And then you can also select individual days, which is what I've done because wife has a random day off on a Tuesday and we also have a Sunday off together. So that's what we did, we scheduled them so we can mess around with the, these dates differently. What you can't do is schedule a date for Monday and copy that data set to then a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have to individually add the marker points in. You can add as many different temperatures throughout the day as you want, but you can't copy a certain data set to another day. So it can take a bit of a while to set up, but once you've done it, in theory, you should never need to go back to the screen. Now, if you've got, like I have, the TRV valves for different rooms, the, if you've set them all to the same room, those thermostats will all talk to each other in that room and you just need to set the room itself to a certain temperature and the other thermostats in that room will talk to each other and be set. So that stops you messing around with some other things, so that's quite useful. Now once you've sort of messed around with setting all these things like I have, I purposely selected the lounge to be off in the morning on the days that we don't use it. So apart from a Tuesday and Sunday in the morning, the lounge will never heat up therefore reducing the amount of CO2 I produce because I'm not burning as much gas and the 
people of you who like saving money will that will result in a lower bill now there's a couple of plus points i have found in the app one somehow don't know how it does it it can work out if you've opened a window and the, the benefits that this works out is when you've opened a window it will detect that and ask you if you want to turn your heating off so it can help you save money in those rooms if you've got the room firm stats in each of those rooms it will just turn off the radiators in those rooms if it's uh, where your main boiler where your main firm stat control is in the hall for example like mine is it'll turn off the heating for the whole house so it's a, it's a clever idea but inbuilt with that it will also monitor the air quality in your house so if you're concerned about air quality pollen pm2s carbon monoxide carbon etc like that in your home's atmosphere it can detect when the windows opened and let you know if the air inside the house is dirty and if the air outside by using monitoring stations if the air outside your house is cleaner now the data is driven not from tado it's data driven from another company and they do hourly checks on local air quality so if the air quality in your house is dirty and the air quality outside is dirty it just won't say anything but if the air quality in your house is dirty and the air quality outside is cleaner, it may suggest to you that you open some windows to let some fresh air in, which I thought was a neat, neat little idea. And on top of that, you've also got humidity readings that pretty much all these smart thermostats do. Now, if you are interested in buying a Tadu, there is a link down below to my Amazon referral page with all my Amazon links it has all the radiators the thermostats and the same system I've got so you can buy just the thermostat like me just the radiator valves like me or the whole kit together or additional radiator valves so I have linked that down below in my description now I'm just going to go over to one more negative point that I have with the Tadu before I finish up this video and ask you to subscribe to my channel and like the video so before I go into that there is one point that really bugs me and that is they sell a subscription service and i've been trying to get my head around why you'd sell a subscription service for this and it's, the only reason i can come up with is to extort money out of you for a, a feature that they should have included for free now it has geofencing which is great but for the geofencing to work you need to link both your phones up which is fine me and my wife link both our phones up tells us both we're open the house but when we go out, it asks us if we want to turn the heating off. It has a visual command, do you want to turn the heating off? You're both detected as out. Uh, yes, turn the heating off. And same with the window, windows open, would you like to turn the heating off in this room? Uh, yes, I would. But if you want that to be automated, so if you want the geofencing to automatically turn the heating off when you go out and automatically turn it on when you come back home and automatically turn it off when, when you open a window and automatically turn it back on when you shut that window, you have to pay a subscription. And that to me, Tadu, is absolutely ridiculous. You should have included this for free. I am very, very, very disappointed. So thank you very much for watching this week's video. If you are interested in the system, there's a link down below. I will be doing a review in it in about 12 months to see if it saved me any money because they do guarantee that if it hasn't saved you any money, you can have your money back. I'm gonna, I am gonna. know it's going to save me money. It's going to cut down a whole entire room zone from my house. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you again next week. Thank you.